Hello YouTube and welcome to my video on making a toy shield and a sword scabbard for my son. And this is done as a Christmas present that apparently I, I was, we all drew names and I got my son who was eight years old and to make a present for them. So I decided that he wanted a, a scabbard for his sword and I also thought that he might like a shield to go with it. So that's kind of where I came from and I used scrap wood for the shield and I also used, I just went to Home Depot and bought this short cut off of a one inch PVC pipe for the scabbard and then scrounged up other stuff. Um, essentially what I did is I took this PVC pipe and I heated it up and I tried to shape it to the shape of the sword. Um, and this is just a, he already had the sword, it's a cold steel um, practice sword which is like the the small Japanese style um, anyway so I yeah I just shape it and try to get a tight fit over the sword and then then after after I I get it shaped then I'm just gonna put a, a strap on it and and paint it but you know first I shape it and then I try to get the tight fit um, pinch off the end of it just trying to shape it to something that I like so it's pretty close here um, Except for I wanted a little bit, a little bit looser of a fit. It's it's pretty tight, which is nice, so it won't fall out. But I want it just a little looser, so he can pull it out easier. So I get, I think I get a file, and uh, take off a little bit of the inside material. Anyways, still, it comes out easy, but still stayed. So I tried to buy this buckle to use, and then when I went and looked through for straps, um, I found a, a strap from a backpack that I had already cut off, because when I, when I throw backpacks away, I cut straps off and keep the straps and the buckles. So I'm, I'm reusing this piece. So that was free. And then I got some cotton twine cotton string and the reason I use cotton was because I wanted it to soak I want I'm gonna use uh, some epoxy later and so I wanted it to soak in better and stick to the PVC and to the to the string better so that's why I'm using cotton I could have probably used a little bit thicker than what this was but it turned out okay so here I'm wrapping it, um, and I guess if you don't know how to do this technique where you, I kind of do a loop and then wrap around the loop and then pull, use the loop to pull the end through, uh, I can, if you want, I can make a, another video just to show how to do this. It's pretty easy. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. Uh, I'm kind of struggling here at the beginning and I realized later and you'll see it later where I use tape to tape parts to it so that it's not in the way as I'm wrapping but essentially now I'm just gonna wrap it around a whole bunch of times see if I can get a better view
see that loop it just keeps getting in the way and so <laughs> later on I tape it but so now I'm to the end you see I taped it anyways when to, to tie it off you I cut it off and then I I put that end through the loop and then I I pull the loop through the underneath the rest of it hopefully you can see this I'll do it again with the second half but that's all I did a simple wrap Now I learned so I can tape it to get it out of my way at the beginning and then tape the strap up to just kind of keep it from moving. The first couple wraps are always the hardest, but once you get it going, just make sure you pull it hard and tight, and it'll keep it keep it tight. Do it what you need it to do. So again, when you're done with it, you put the end through the loop, and then you pull the loop through the middle, and then you, you just stop it halfway so that it's buried. And that's it. So what I'm going to do after this, um, I'm going to get some, here I'm straight, just straightening it out. But now I'm going to get some adhesive, some five minute epoxy and the cotton is going to soak it in and, and it's going to stick to that a lot better than if it was um, like polypropylene or polyester twine. So that's why I used the cotton. I knew it would soak in with the adhesive better, the epoxy. And this is five minute epoxy, so it's going to dry pretty quickly. So now it's it's dried, and the first one looked pretty good. The second one had a big bump on it. You can see it right there, so I have to cut it off. So I just get I just cut it off and smooth it out a little. And then after that, to make the paint dry, or the paint stick to the PVC better, I sand it down. Just give it a quick um, sanding on the outside. And then I just use cheap, cheap paint for this. It's like less than a dollar for the can. And there it is all sprayed up. And again, the fits tight tight enough that it doesn't fall out but it's loose enough that it's not too hard to pull out and the buckle doesn't adjust very easily I don't know why but um it does adjust and releases so there's there's the sword or the scabbard with the sword in it um, and again it's for an eight-year-old so keep that in mind
So it's not perfect, but it works. It looks kind of neat. So now I'm moving on to the, the shield. I had to come up with a handle. Um, I've used like a copper pipe before, but this time I decided to just cut it out from a piece of wood using my um, scroll saw. It's not even at all, but so do some sanding, do some, use my uh, router to make the edges rounder. More sanding, get it smooth now. Now I'm done with that. Very simple. For the the shield part, I'm making, um, I'm using a half inch piece of plywood. It's pretty rough plywood. It's scrap, but I can easily, I just rounded the corners, cut it to about what I thought would be good for them. Use my sander again on that and just got it, get it pretty smooth. The reason I use wood handle is it's easy to glue on. But then I thought I should probably use screws. So drill holes for the screws to come in from the back side. Um, and for some reason I just had a hard time getting these in, but but I eventually got them in. They're just wall board screws. And then for the arm brace, I ran wire around the strap. So again, just a piece of strap with a buckle on it. And then I used, I did two holes for the wire. I guess I could have showed up better, a little better than this. But it's just looped through. Basically, there's two loops. That way the wire doesn't, it's thin and it doesn't get in your way of your arm. It doesn't irritate your arm and it keeps the strap on. But it has these two twisted sides on both sides. So here I, I decided to paint it and I just used some house paint that was already, like I didn't even buy that paint. It was with the house when we bought it. And um, I couldn't live with the twisted wires on the other side. So I took a Dremel and I cut out um, grooves for them and then pounded them into the grooves. So that there would be flush with the surface of the of this shield and then what I did afterwards was you'll see in a second but I get out epoxy and I fill those up and make them smoothish so they don't get in the way of a kid otherwise those wires probably would have poked them or something so just fill those with epoxy And then when it dried, I decided to paint it again. This time I found an old can of white paint. Hey, why not? Let's use some old paint, old house paint. So, painted it white. And then my plan was I wanted to put a dragon. And I messed up um, at first. And so, I eventually just uh, made a, I had to kind of make a big head so that it covered up my mistake and I could paint over what I had messed up before. So this is thrown together, but <laughs> it's not the best dragon, but it works. And I'm just using acrylic paint here. And then after I painted it with this, um, with this acrylic paint, 
I um, I took polyurethane and I coated it with polyurethane and the polyurethane worked as a coating but for some reason I got like a brown hue to it and I don't really like I didn't really like that but anyways it is what it is so that's what it looks like um, I guess if I would have used like polyacrylic or something it might have been a better coating in the front there's the armband and the and the handle and the durable coating of polyurethane and there he is Christmas morning trying to draw it out of his back <laughs>